Alright guys, let's do another project today. Um, not going to be a knife. I know you're, you're wanting knives. Uh, it's a afternoon. I'm not going to start a knife when I don't have time to really focus on it. Uh, this project I've been wanting to do for really a long time. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a nail header. I'm going to start making some forged nails. Um, there's several reasons why I want to do this. Uh, the first reason, when I was, I don't know, five, six years old, I was with my, my father and we were going through a, some blacksmith museum shop or something like that and he pointed out that uh, these are the implements that this man would use to uh, to make nails and at that age I was like one at a time I mean that's what they had to do I, so I mean it's just there's just something uh, I think something a little um, nostalgic for me in that um, in addition to that Nails kind of sell well. Um, Forge nail on Etsy, I mean, they're getting a dollar fifty, a dollar a piece. Uh, I'm not going to get rich on it, but it's the little things that add up for sure. Hey, by the way, how do you like that thing on my face? It's called sun. Huh? Amazing. Uh, another reason. My mother gave me this nail, oh, I don't know, many months ago. Sorry, Mom. And she asked me to turn it into a ring. There's a Christian uh, reason for that. And she wants this forged into a ring. And this, this nail is made out of iron. And I, I, she didn't want it forged. She just wanted it bent. And uh, I could certainly do that. But I know that iron on, on skin is probably not going to... It's not pr probably going to react very well. So I've been wanting to, uh, to recreate this nail in stainless steel. So it will be a piece of jewelry that, uh, that she can use. So I guess, like I said, there's several reasons that I want to do this. To make a nail, what does it take? Well you got to make a nail header so that's the first thing we're going to do uh, and then from there just make the nails uh, I'm going to go ahead and I, I hope today make a header that will handle two types of nails this is a typical cut nail um, from the 1880s uh, and 1800s and then I'm going to make a uh, uh, rosebud or, rose or a round, rounded head nail those are the two things I want to do but again in order to do that you need a nail header you should have a nail header so we're going to make one that's the project for today Alright, so there's several ways to get started with this project. There's lots of videos online. Well, not a lot. There's a few videos online that, that'll show you how to make nail headers. If I had, if I, if I were to choose how I'm going to do it today, I'd probably take this truck axle, cut off an, an inch or so of it, and uh, weld the handle on it and do the work from there. But I like to try to keep, when I can, the videos something that everybody can, can do. Uh, almost all of us have access to these babies. You've seen me use them before, railroad, tri tri railroad spikes. Um, for you chaps over in England, eh, maybe not so easy. And for the mates down under, that might not be so easy, but pretty much any piece of steel. You do want to be able to harden the, the end on it, so I think a railroad spike will work. We're going to turn this railroad spike into a nail header and then start making some nails. Plan is, I think I'm going to, since I want the rounded head uh, on one end, I think I'm going to go ahead and take advantage of all this extra steel and just drive this together into a ball and flatten that out. My objective is to create um, the rounded end here with a uh, a hole in it to, to do the rounded head nails and then right next to that I'm going to go ahead and make a spot for the, uh, the cut nails. That's the plan. Let me heat this up. Alright, we're not going to make a big deal about this. We're just going to try to get this down. I'm trying not to stretch it out much. Let's see if we can get that bulk right to the end. You can kind of see what's going on there. One of the nice thing, or cool things about blacksmithing if you need something, like a tool or something like that, you can pretty much make it yourself. Most of it anyway. So I think that was definitely a good idea. Look at the bulk that I have there now. Not bad. Oh, there it is. Not bad at all. So I'll go ahead and kind of fuller this out, give it a little bit more width, and start making its shape. Alright, we'll start to round this thing out. Oops, I missed. Spread it out a little bit. Try to keep it as clean as we can. Of course, I've never done this before, so I'm not exactly sure of the dimensions. All I have is some pictures online that I've looked at. But I think it's looking like a nail header shape to me. I think what I'm going to do, I'm gonna, like I said, I want to use my rounded head nail there. 
And then right behind it, I want to do a spot for the uh, cut nail. I'm going to take from that point back and start tapering it down just to give me a little more shape. All right, so there's my round, and that's probably where I want that to be. Just taper that down a little. I've heard stretching things out over the horn is a good way to do it. I haven't tried it yet, so let's learn together right now. See how it goes. It makes sense because you're going to be fullering on the bottom. Stretch that sucker right out, didn't it? Stretched it right out. Good job. Thanks for the suggestion. And we'll go ahead and finish this up. to doing this end. Alright, so for the round top uh, nail, I need the surface of this to be curved up, convex. So in order to curve that up, because I'm trying to do two headers at once here, I need to be able to curve this side down. So I have to step this, this uh, top down a little so that I have room to curve it. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that right now, I think right about there. You see that step I put in? I think you can. It's right there. And that'll allow me to go ahead and put a bit of a, a dome on top of this All thing. Right, start putting some shape on this, cleaning it up a little bit more now. So again, we want the high part point in the center, so I'm just going to work around the outside, even in here, until I've tapered myself right up. I don't know if you can see it or not, but you can kind of see that shadow there, the show is there. So one more time, I think we'll be good. That looks pretty. Can you see that? Concave or convex? Hopefully you can. Nice little dome top. So that doesn't look too bad. This doesn't look horrible. This isn't extremely symmetric, but now what I want to do is I want to make sure this sucker is nice and flat. That's not bad at all. I like it. I like it. All right, we're going to cool it down. You know, if I were a real blacksmith, I'd make myself a punch to, to drift that, but I want a really small hole in there, so I'm going to cheat. Hope you don't mind. I'm going to go ahead and drill a hole, and then I'll drift out what I want. All right, while that um, header's cooling down, I'm going to go ahead and start forging a drift for the uh, rosebud nails or the round-headed nails. And I'm just go ahead and just take some 3 8 or actually I don't think it's 3 8 I don't know what it is. Some small stock here. I'm going to make myself a drift. I think I'm going to go with square nails for that. That gives me the depth I need and the maximum thickness I want for these nails. Alrighty. Trying to see what I got there. Ow, ow, hot on my thumb. Boy, I need new gloves, don't I? So I would say that uh, I plan on going to about here, and that's uh, an, an eighth of an inch at the most. So uh, that's what I'm going to go for as a drift for the uh, round-headed nail. Alright, for this cut nail, I measured the top here. It's about an eighth inch thick and about five sixteenths wide. So I'm going to go ahead and drift my something, something self something that looks very similar to this, so that I can uh, drift that hole.
All right, I fixed that up. We're about the, the same uh, thickness and pretty darn good looking at the same width. So this drift is done. I think what I want to do is I'm going to go ahead and cut this off a little long and then upset that top so that when I when I drift that hole out, I'll actually have this head to make that rectangular indentation. Upset the top on this uh, drift that I'm making. I did it on the post vise. I just set it in there, hot, pounded it down, rotated it, pounded it down to create that top. So I'm kind of happy with the way it looks. This is the original nail. And again, I, if, if, I don't know if this is special to my mom or not, so I wasn't going to use that as a drift. But I wanted to make something similar to it. I think I'm okay with the way that looks. Um, and we will uh, go from there. All right, and there are the holes. I'm a little concerned about this one because uh, I wish I had a, I almost want to drill a second hole next to it. And I just might do that. Let me think about that. No, can't do it. I just don't have enough room for a second hole there. So we're going to hope on that one. Let's drift this first one out first. While that's heating on this first drift, I went in on the grinder and I gave myself a bit of a radius there at the top just to, to give that head something to sink into. All right, children, here goes nothing. And by the way, it's been one hour since I started this project. Let's hope we can make this happen. I'm a little concerned about my drift. I want it to be square. Come on now, get in there. Oh, sweet. Sweet! Yeah, now my nail won't come out. Look what I did. <laughs> my nail's getting too hot. Alright, but it worked anyway. We just gotta get it out of there. I'll be back. Alright, I broke my drift getting it out, but hopefully, I mean, oh, everything went well, so I'm lucky. Uh, I got a nice uh, drifted hole, square hole in there with tapered edges on the top, which is pretty cool. I got to clean this one up a little bit, but that's not bad. We're going to go ahead and give this one a try. I hope I get it through before the uh, nail gets too hot. Alright guys, this one makes me nervous. First one went well, let's, why wouldn't this one go well, right? Like that angle. Quickly drive it through. Hold it down. I want that set in there. Uh -huh. Head popped off. I don't know what the hell that means. I got an indentation. We'll see what happens. I'm gonna quench this like this. Let's see if maybe we can drive that out once it's quenched. Oh yeah, fell right out. Sweet! See that? So I got the nice indentation for the head there. I got the indentation for the head there. We are in good shape, except we're not flat anymore, but I'll go ahead and clean that up right now. Boy, I think this is gonna work. All right, we are practically there. Let's clean this up a little bit. And I wanna bring this so that it sits nice and flat on the anvil. I don't want to distort any holes or anything like that, but I want it just a little bit more than flat. I like it, just like that. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and harden this end of it uh, and then temper the handle down a little bit because I don't want the handle breaking off. But uh, I think we're in good shape. Let me harden this end. All right, we're gonna go ahead and quench this. Harden it up right in the quench. Sounds good. Oh yeah, now it's hard. Skates if you hit. Skates right off of that. And that, I don't even think this was one of the spikes marked HC, but there's enough carbon in there for it to harden. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and give this thing a bit of a temper, and then we'll clean it up. I'll come back. I'm not sure if you can see this in this light, but uh, for, for a temper, I blew up the handle and let that kind of work its way up into the, uh, the head a little bit, so the blue is about to here. So hopefully that's hard enough or tempered enough without uh, breaking this head off. We're going to find out, though, aren't we? All right, there you have it. Not my proudest work, but you know when you're doing something for the first time, <laughs> you might want to find out if it works before you go all the way, but it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and throw a couple of nails through there and see what we can get. All right, let's give this a go. We're going to go ahead and try the uh, 
the little nail first. I'm just going to go ahead and put my taper on to the size of the nail. I'm just kind of winging it right now just to prove this thing out. Go for like an inch to an inch and a half nail is what I'm looking for. That's one of the reasons that I wanted to do this project because making nails is a good exercise in repeatability. So you see how close I am there. I think I'm pretty darn close to drive that through now. So we'll go ahead and heat it up for the cut. Alright, it's the first nail I've ever tried so I'm going to take this nice and slow. What you want to do is you want to nip this off but not all the way. Just enough so you can break it off on the next heat. It's probably a good part, a good blacksmith would be able to do it in one heat. See what I got there, right? That's step one. And we'll go back and heat it. Alright, children, here goes nothing. Put that thing in the nail header, drive it down through. Ah, I'm bending. That ain't what I wanted. But you know what? Alright, and I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of peen that, that end over. I didn't mean to bend this end though. Oh boy. That suck. Let's do it again. Alright, we're going to give this a go. I'm going to cool this end down a little bit just so that it doesn't warp when it goes through there. Break the center of bitch off. Yeah, that's a little better. At least we didn't bend. It's a start in the right direction. I don't know if you can see that or not, but it's going for about an inch and a half. It's the right length. I just didn't leave myself enough steel on top. So I'll call that my first actual nail ever. I ain't too shabby. Let's see what the next one looks like. Alright, let's try nail number two. I like the idea of quenching it, although I don't think I've ever seen anybody do that. Two, a little short, a little off-centered. This is going to be fun because it's going to take some practice to figure this one out. I like it. All right, let's try that clip nail now. All right, let's go for go for broke here. Let's go ahead and cut and shape in the same heat. I think we're good enough to do that. I don't think so. I'm already losing my heat. I suck. That ain't gonna stop me yet. Yeah. Oh, look how long that is. That's not good. But you know what, boys and girls? That's not gonna be a horrible nail when we get going. Where am I? It's not bad. A little too much meat on top. It looks like a good nail to me. Now, if you look at it at that angle, compared to this one, ain't too snabby. Not too snabby at all. So I'm liking it. About a thousand more of these, and I think I'll have it set. So there you have it. One nail header, a couple of punches, a couple of nails done, and it's One hour and 45 minutes for the whole project. So I don't think that's crazy. And potentially, once I get good at it, there's a dollar. Maybe a dollar fifty. can beat that. All right, till next time. Take what are you guys crazy? You almost made me forget what I came out here to do. I wanted to make for my mother. Geez, you forgot my mother. I wanted to make one of these out of stainless steel so it wouldn't tarnish your fingers. So I guess we're not done yet. You thought you were done, didn't you? No, not yet. Stay tuned. All right, this one's for you, Mom, I hope. I hope, I hope, I hope. I hope, 
by who, by who, by who. Yeah. Alrighty. There it is. Not bad for a first go of it. This side looks pretty good. Compare that to the original. Looks like my mold might be a little bit off, but uh, I'm okay. You know, it's the first time through. I'll probably do this again because I really enjoy the idea of making nails. A little over three inches long, which is perfect. Let me go ahead and bend this into a ring and uh, we'll bring it back. And there you have it. Not a bad looking ring, if you ask me. And it, um, again, it does have. Uh, has hidden, hidden, not hidden meaning, but it has meaning into it. So, uh, I don't know if this is the one my mom will get, but she'll get one like it. It looks, uh, it looks good. I'm, I'm pretty happy with it, actually. And uh, now that I have the tools in place, I can go ahead and start making these. Uh, hopefully a heck of a lot quicker than this last one took. But anyway, this time I'm signing off for real. So, till next time, people. Fix my hair, man. Gosh, you gotta look good on camera. Ciao. Parts you need most.